Alright, my people, welcome back onto this channel. Well, this is another strong one reaching us still on the matter. Yoruba nation, no going back. Exactly what it is, exactly what the people are talking about. Yes, yeah, so this is a breaking news. Hmm. Awi Koko finally calls out Chief Sunday Igboho and uh, he said a lot of things. Well, this is not going well with majority of people as they have taken it against Awi Koko. Earlier before now, Awi Koko raised a note. He was thinking Chief Sunday Igboho will run down. He was thinking Chief Sunday Igboho had been deported. A lot of people dragged him. Well, after which we thought in the end, Awi Koko will change, but never knew he will stay continue with his character. And this is to you know, tell the whole world that Awi Koko does not want any good thing to happen to Chief Sunday Bowo. And right now, Awi Koko is of the opinion that anybody who is still you know, following the Yoruba Nation movement is a criminal. That anybody we see talking about Yoruba Nation does not actually want Yoruba Nation, but the fund behind it, which you no, know, we have all seen it that he has you no know, taken it all wrong. And then, well, some somebody have made it clear that don't mind Awi Koko. Hmm, that the reason why Awi Koko is doing all this is simply because there was a time that he used the name of Lady K to you no. Know, to ask for money from people in the diaspora. And then at the end of it all, after they contributed that sum of money, Awikoko diverted the money, meaning he did not remit that money to Lady K. And exactly what is actually going on right now. And then after which the people from the diaspora got to realize that, oh, Awikoko is not to be trusted. Then they stopped sending money to Awi Koko. They seized every avenue that Awi Koko will get fund from. From there, Awi Koko now realized that, oh, so this is what will happen. Of which we already know that Awi Koko is actually in Yoruba Nation for the monetary aspect. That is why he could come out boldly right now to tell the people that anybody who is still following Yoruba Nation is a criminal meaning that's exactly what he came in to yoruba nation to do well come to think of it with all the hardship that you no know, uh, is going on in the country right now who is that person that will now say this, this is not the time for yoruba nation to move on so we don't need a suicide to tell us who awi koko is and uh, right now there's been a lot of reactions a lot of people are raining courses on Awi Koko for coming out in this manner, of which we already know Chief Sunday Bowo will not you know, come out to say want to reply him exactly what we are actually getting. Well, according to what had been gathered, a lot of people have made it clear that Olori Burukuni Awi Koko. Hmm. Well, according to what we are still having here, a lot of people have actually reacted in different forms. That henceforth we should just stop talking about this Awi Koko because he's trying to get relevance, more relevance to you know, the atrocities he is committing. Hmm. Awi Koko will still be uh, mad, okay? Bet it, okay? Hmm. There's some, <laughs> there some comments that a lot of people are actually running against Awi Koko right now. This is so serious. Hmm. Awi Koko Tiluleo, Sunday, Adeyemo Igboho, the hero of Yoruba land, Yoruba nation, is just the reality. Nobody should listen to him. Well, exactly what you see. And one thing about uh, what is going on is that when you listen to majority of people, their comments and everything, you will understand exactly what they are actually saying. Majority, they say, carry the vote. And the majority right now are against Awikoko with what is going on. Hmm. Yeah, so meanwhile, according to Olushe or Joe on this one, say, well, hmm. Awi koko koni ragba fwen, toba ragba fwen, koni ra wo fwen, toba de ra wo fwen, yo funny. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so he did by Jenny Awi koko manwa, la ye tie, la ti ba ti moti mo. He likes money, and then Awi koko can do and undo to get money. Okay, that's another one. 
Hmm. Jack Wele ni o fit ya wiko ko. Hmm. Oh, nigga, a wiko ko. Okay. Well, that's it. A lot of you know, people are raining courses on a wiko ko on this one. This is exactly what we are talking about. And then, according to Taiwo, Taiwo, we mi mo se swe, orobul kule no a wiko ko, yisha kilo de gan kini Sunday. All right, that's another strong one. Well, with what we have actually having right now, anybody out there who is you know, still saying there is nothing like Yoruba Nation and then such a person should be verified. Where does Awikoko come from? And if somebody is reacting that, hmm, we should all know that Awikoko should be part of this Fulani blood. You see that the mother is a Fulani or his father is a Fulani man. That this is exactly how they behave. They always behave as a traitor and then we are getting it. No matter what. No wonder somebody made it clear yesterday that hmm, as far as this Yoruba Nation movement is concerned, don't say because some set of Fulanis are speaking Yoruba and then we should now accept them to be part of Yoruba people or we should not give them some position because hmm, there is this adage that they will say that ondoshe. but in the case of the Yoruba nation movement according to what we are getting it has been made clear that there is nothing like that be a fulani is going to act as a fulani in the hand yes yeah, so if you are not fully a Yoruba person there is nothing you can do to help the Yoruba nation movement. And exactly why we can see a lot of people that we call the Yorubas coming out. We call them traitors. They will definitely act in that manner. Yeah, so, and then as it starts right now, hmm, Chief Sondigo keeps getting vindicated. Either they like it or not. Yes, yeah, so every enemy of Chief Sondigo will surely run down with exactly what is reaching us. Yoruba nation, no going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are still talking about and then meanwhile hmm, it had been made clear that when awikoko noticed that he is no longer getting fund from politics from yoruba nation movement that's when he now diverted to politics and then right now he is now floating because with everything they campaigned for the people with all that they campaigned that oh the people should you no know, follow a milokon and the rest of them they have now said it that it is no longer working it is no longer what they promise every every one of them is coming out there in fact they are in shame somebody's asking are we coco hmm the money will be say you collect it say you don't chop and finish and in this one will be say you won't use chief sunday but we'll get relevance you won't use that ama money God no go alaramo. God no go let you get up. All right, my brother, my sister, this is another strong one. Yeah, so it is the same Awikoko who ran Chief Sunday Igbo down that we have seen him every now and then. That this is the kind of person when he actually came to Chief Sunday Igbo, he was lobbying, trying to know be somebody but in the end look at it they even thought chief sunday go will no not be able to come back from benin republic so now they are ashamed of themselves that is why they are still trying to bring him down but god is bigger than them you can imagine all sort of things all their belief is that which, as far as the movement is concerned as far as chief sunday go had gone to benin republic that he might not be able to come back easily but at the end of it all they have missed it well my brother and my sister this is exactly what is actually reaching us onto this one majority of things that are actually being said what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you're just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless